Welcome to Weld.com. A while back we did a Pentagon fire pit and uh, I, I did another one here for a customer and this turned out really nice. Uh, I want to follow up with that because some people were asking me for the dimensions on the Pentagons themselves, how to draw one either on the computer or draw it by hand. So uh, let me reset the camera and I'll get into some layout and some dimensions and some math on how to calculate everything here and get what you want. So a while back we said we were going to uh, get into doing a, uh, a layout on this uh, pentagon for the fire pits, okay? And there's a couple of ways to do this. I'm going to show you one of them. There, the others are out on, out on Google and there's all kinds of cool little videos, but real simply, um, I've taken the circle, which is uh, eight and an eighth in diameter, and I've bisected it with a, a crow's foot, center finder head, whatever you want to call it. Um, and so I've bisected it that way, and I've measured in here to find my half, and I can square this with anything. Go with a tri-square here off of my blade. I can draw the first half of it and then project the line across, which we've done. Okay, so I've just kind of quartered this thing up a little bit. Now, the next thing we need to do is I need to split this segment in half. Okay, so I've got my little mark here. I like to use a very sharp, very sharp uh, soapstone with light marks on it. I also like to use a scribe for accuracy. But we've got that part done. So again, we've quartered this, found center, bisected this in half. From there, I'm going to take trammel points because my little compass doesn't have a big enough radius here. So I'm going to set this down on that point and intersect it with this up here. And I'm going to come around here and scribe this. Okay. From there, this distance is going to be a little longer. So I'm going to reset my trammel points to intersect this distance. Okay. And I'm marking that point. And while I have it on there, I'm going to swing around here and mark this point. This is a piece of 3 16 plate. If I was going to hand cut this, which I could very easily and get good straight edges, so we now have a pentagon. Okay? If I was going to cut this out of this 3 16 I'd probably use a ot tip or a double ot tip. Keep my pressures fairly low, use a straight edge, and I could accurately cut this out. Now, we already said that this is an 8 and an eighth diameter circle and it yielded a five inch side okay. a five inch side so now i'm off a little bit right there but i'm not too awful worried about it again quick little method i would probably slow down and take the time to do it a little bit different <clears throat> probably use some center punch marks 
and back check it and even it all out. Anyway, um, I'd probably use a straight edge, clean these things up, make myself a pattern. Now here's the deal. We've already stated that our seven inch sides across here yielded a 19 inch diameter pot or pentagon fire pit. So we could do some math here and we can come in here and say that five inches is to eight and we could kind of figure out how big a diameter this size pentagon was going to yield. Let me get, let me reset the camera. We'll just do it on the chalkboard here. So a while ago when I, when I showed you the finished product, I told you that a seven inch pentagon yielded me a 19 inch pot, the one that was painted silver with a high heat silver and had the uh, OU and, and the Dowler name in it and everything. And we just laid one out that came out to a five and we're curious to know, well, if we had a bunch of eight and eight circles, uh, what diameter of pot would that yield us? If I, if I went to the scrapyard and I saw a bunch of circles laying around and I think, wow, I could use those, you know, those are cool. Well, here's what's gonna happen. Um, I set the equation up that we're looking for a known diameter. Okay, and that's our X. So we don't know what kind of a big circle this is going to, or the diameter of the pot is going to be. But we know that we laid our pentagon out on that particular size circle and gave us five inches. 19 inches to seven inch diameter, five inches to an X unknown. Okay, so we do a little cross multiply. I know you guys hate math, but I like it. 19 inch pot times five. On this side, divided by 7, we got 95 divided by 7. If we use those circles and they came out to a 5 inch sided pentagon, we're going to get a 13 and a half inch diameter pot out of it. And that's kind of small, but it's still cool. So let's, uh, let's do another one here, real quick. Let's say that we want to make our pot diameter, our pentagon fire pit diameter, we want to make it 24 inches in diameter. Okay. Now, given the knowns that I've, I've already given you, I used the seven-inch pentagon side. It yielded a 19-inch diameter. But you guys are you want to make it out to 24. So we need to know how long uh, one of the sides across the pentagon needs to be. Okay. So we've got two knowns. We want to make it 24. We're looking for the length across the pentagon side. So I'm going to cross multiply again and find the unknown of the length and we've got 7 times 24 divided by 19, 168 divided by 19 is 8.84 across one of the sides of the pentagon. Okay, There are other ways to lay this out. This is by doing it by hand. Um, some of you have asked me for a file to send to you. You can generate, if you have a plasma cam drawing package, the, the AutoCAD, whatever you have on your system, there's a lot of systems out there for CNC plasma. They will bring up, I mean, you've, you've got all these commands that will bring up polygons. It'll ask you how many sides that you want for your polygon. Well, you can, you, if, you, if you want the pentagon, just pick five sides. And then you can scale that length. And given these, I've given you what's going to come about as far as the diameter of your finished product. You can work the numbers and, and create whatever you want. Plus, if you're doing it on your, your CNC plasma, you can import whatever artwork that you want in there. Um, so, you know, it's a fun project. Uh, I've done quite a few of them. If you have any questions, if you're still stumped on it, let me know and I'll try to help you out. So, uh, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, again, we appreciate the support. Thanks for watching well.com.